Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign where I'm trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with less equipment, less different classes, less hit points and stronger enemies with a better advent. It's time to run to New Chile into Operation Fading Flame. Today we're trying to counter whatever hidden event is happening, get 102 intel for a further expansion and on top of that uh, we're trying to get some more experience. Since we are still recovering from our massive fight in the uh, last uh, terror mission, I'm going to bring two sparks with me as always. The second spark doesn't have a rocket launcher, so we're only going in with one rocket launcher due to duplicate weapons. Jaranks uh, and Wrong Planet are going to be our frontline. Sukugur is back. Uh, he's the only one who recovered fast enough. And Mike the Public Bravo is going to be the, uh, the sniper. If you wonder why they are having pink weapons, pink um, is now the color for yeah moderately modded weapons i'm running out of new mods for the weapons and since i'm trying to lock the equipment on each one of the soldiers this here is really only the scraps that are the bottom of the barrel so to speak that's left over but that makes it a bit more uh, a bit more entertaining we're going in with really limited equipment at this point let's hope that the chosen is not going to show up and ruin our day perfect we just landed and we landed on a graveyard fantastic that's one of the og uh, places to fight very xcom one-ish we're taking our only scout to figure out what and where we're fighting I have eyes on the enemy. Oh. I can already tell you that I don't want to fight against the Archon Prime. I feel light on my feet. But I'm low key hoping that this guy is going to run into us. Such a huge graveyard, and then we only need to walk alongside that par uh, parameter closing on target position now okay mike mike i need a good sniper but mike instead decides to pull an additional pack well fantastic here we go We're spreading nicely out without uh, pulling the entire enemy, uh, the entire enemies at once. I think it's reasonable to start with a grenade here. Just kind of getting st uh, started with that first pack, removing cover, shredding. Works well. Okay, fantastic. This might be a kill. Fantastic, very good so far, so good. Should have moved over here so that we uh, could have seen this guy. We're potentially going to get blazing pinion unless we're hitting him twice. Let's go for overdrive. He's still dodging nicely. Okay, we're going to get Blazing Pinion, but it is what it is. Can't change that now. And there is Chosen. We're fighting against the Hunter. Be careful. Evasive. So he'll 
dodge quite a bit. Automatically tries to kill. Priest summoning, no explosions, and gains health. That's a shitty setup. It's dangerous out here. Chosen. This mission just got a little more dangerous. Stay on top of its position and try to take it out. Okay. Can we kill this guy? Nope. That's a miss. Come on, focus. <laughs> okay. I might want to point out that he literally had one action, moved from here to here in one action, and also on top of uh, that solidly hit. Oh boy, Mike is in a tough spot. Do we have a medkit with us? I think it's over on Jarangs, right? No, we did not have one left over. Fantastic. Confirmed. Good, moving up. Starting to mark this guy. Of course he decides to dodge. And this might be a kill. Minimum damage. It's a bit of a rough start so far. But we got an Illyrium core that's pretty much worth it. Gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. Mike has taken a bit of a beating here. At the same time, what we definitely do not want to happen is pulling the Archon without a further preparation. So we got an Archon Prime. That guy is likely the toughest enemy that we're going to meet here. And I'm still not sure how to counter the Archons outside of um, outside of basically using frost. Hmm. Good. So, what are the tools that we do have available? We could try to see how well a flashbang grenade would work. Haven't haven't tried that yet. So he starts with be being disoriented. That's not the worst con uh, condition to have right from the get-go. We do have um, we do have incendiary rounds. So if this is going to be a hit. Yep, he's burning right off the bat. That's good. Interestingly enough, the whole the whole uh, flashbang didn't even didn't even trigger anything for him. Like the bo both of them were just flashbanged and were standing there as as if nothing would have happened, right? Moving into full cover, and let's mark this guy. 
for the targeting. Stun Lancer back here, so be, uh, let's be careful not to move in. Okay, he's he's definitely trying to he's definitely trying to kill us. In which case, we're countering with a smoke bomb. This should not trigger his ruler actions. Of course, we're being revealed, but that doesn't matter. Just don't want to lose Mike at this point. This here is full cover for Mike, plus he is disoriented. We're shredding him. Still tries to hit Mike, okay. Can't be on the high ground here. It's unfortunate. Just he continues to dodge. Oh, that is really bad. This is empty. Eventually he will hit Mike. Whoa. I mean, we got to continue firing we're not going to get any better situation than him okay he's burning so just going to let him burn since we know that there is um, a Another pack right here. Already seen them. I'd be careful. Just let him burn. He eventually will die. We're not clustering up. And should I push forward? Potentially not. I'm still trying to work around this guy. Good. This is an Overwatch. Tracking shot. Not the end of the world. Moving out of tracking shot. And starting to set up the next guy. This is a very much a slog fest. Super slow, movement forward, super slow, super careful movement forward. Feeding the kills to our mech, like I intended to do. We gotta reload. Dranks reconceals. He's our only scout. Let's do this. Enemy squad located. There's the enemy squad that I was talking about. Yeah, wrong planet needs to stay here for now. And Mike just goes into full cover. He has learned his lesson. Overwatch. But we know that there is no one here. Might as well... Let's move a bit forward. I still don't like to stand, uh, stay outside of cover. Six more turns. Five more. And we have another nasty pack ahead of us. I did not take the upgraded gun. That was stupid. 
Should should have taken the rapid gun, uh, the upgraded gun. We're w we're going to waste one turn here. I'm low-key hoping for an overwood trap, but that's unlikely to happen. Drinks moving up. Good overwatch, although we don't have long watch. Cougar. No, I don't want to take any risks here. Primus overwatches, wrong planet overwatches, and are they running into us? Potentially not. No, they are not. Okay, cool. Elite Trooper. Elite Skirmisher. Let's try to kill that Elite Trooper in one go. Alright. Good. If we were to remove cover... And shred them at the same time. I think that would be a good start, right? Right. Moving slightly up without triggering the chosen because that would that would massively make uh, this more difficult than it needs to be. And let's try to remove most of the cover. Good. Cover removed. Elite Assault is being marked. It would be fantastic if for once we're trying to hit a shot. Moving up. Did we just get the chosen in range? Not sure if he's going to join us. If he is, then bad luck. Because we need to focus on these guys first. To engage I said we need to focus on these guys first. That might really be the worst turn that I have played in a while. I trade the worst option to hit for a better cover option. Alright, stun lancer is down. Don't hesitate to pull the trigger. I like that. And we gotta deal with that skirmisher elsewise. We're in a world of pain. Luckily the skull jack immediately kills, but unfortunately we're now in the open. We're going to take a shot. But that is better than taking three shots. This might be a kill. 
Nope. Another 90% shot. Missed. <laughs> it sort of has reached the point where I'm not even wondering how that, uh, how the pot placement seems to screw us up. Okay, so we're continuing to move up. We're continuing to mark them. Should have done that right, right away. And finally, someone kills. Moving back. Hacking in. Reduces contact costs or income. That here is 40 into, that here is 25 supplies. I think we're just going to take the 97% chance. going to fight the Valkyrie I would say we're going to do that another day Moving. let's move out of line of sight they do have tactical analysis okay we're taking a bit more damage than I was hoping we would. You killed off one of the other chosen, and the elders put all the blame on me. Thanks a lot. We've spotted Is he the chosen. triggered. Get ready to fight. Okay, well, no he seems to be faster. triggered. Holy moly. Alright, free reload. Guys, you can make up for whatever mischievous shit you did before and by not ruining this one. Rocket launcher. Rocket launcher needs to hit the chosen. All right, shredded him nicely. Good job, good job. Starts us well. Knowing that we need to fight yet another turn, I am reloading. And we're marking him. Oh yeah, that's, that's more like it. Finally everybody is finding their trigger finger again. This is not beginner's luck, my friend. This is Sparta. And... We are going to take a couple of shots. I think we had an auto loader, right? Yes, we did. But no line of sight. Good, moving up. Close proximity, come on. Shotgun to the face never ceases to amaze. Didn't even show how much damage, but it was 15-ish. We're moving back because I don't want to be hit again. 
90%, come on, let's nail this guy. It's unfortunately not a crit. With crit, we would have... We would have potentially gotten him. High ground. And there we go, finally. But we're taking it. Uh, make no mistake, guys, that was a small victory. We're going to take a pretty substantial pounding now. You might be the first to ever take me down more than once, Commander. Don't get cocky. I'll be back to but our front line has plan. enough hit points to take it. Now we just have to work on pulling them down for good. good. Mike, 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 Mike. Mike moves up. And we're still really far, but we eventually will be able to hit something. There's the first hit. Eight points of damage. Ouch, that's a lot. Oh boy. Good. 55. We are moving all the way up to here. I would like to hit that Valkyrie because it's more difficult to hit. At the same time... I would also like to help my friend. So what I'm going to do is a bit of line of sight shenanigans. Then we're going to go for combat protocol. That ends the binding. And Jarenx is standing in a decent position. I think we're just going to move him here for now. Okay. So far, so good. Ethan's 25. He's not uh, profiting from standing next to our mech. Starting to mark him. That's good. Mark target, minimal damage. Burning through ammo fast. Primos moves up. We're shredding the Valkyrie. That's good. Works well. Reload. And remind um, ourselves that the rocket is not an option. And this could be a kill. Come on, Mike. Ah, that's a miss. Unfortunate. Eventually taking another hit here. Another solid hit. Primos reloads, and I think we can finish this. There is weak as ever. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down, and the area is secure. Like I mentioned, it it feels that every single uh, mission, due to the lack of mimic beacons and so on. It's just a massive slog fest, and we're we're also taking some hits here. Come on, we want the promotion on Primos. Is he finally get? No, he's not getting it. Wrong planet got a promotion, and we have suppression. Fantastic, not too bad. Mm. 
Mjolnir. That's the Hammer of Thor, by the way, for those who are unaware. Hello, Commander. Um, I like Mjolnir, but I like Secundus better. Okay, well, plenty of uh, wounded soldiers. Secundus certainly will take his fair, sh uh, fair share on getting repaired again. In the meantime, uh, Primus also requires repairs. And who is actually getting repaired? Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. Always start with Primus, please. 32 days, that is massive. Good, we got intel. Let's continue making contact, shall we? For India. And we're getting closer to finally upgrading all of our equipment. Once that happens, I can get some new toys. Sectorport breakdown is helpful because we can get Gremlin Mark III. Let's go for the turret breakdown as well because defense metrics might come in handy. The turrets. I've started to wonder how the Advent administration views our current band of renegades. Do they see us as an actual threat? Or more of a nuisance. Hmm. Okay, so we don't do have longer? the means to upgrade uh, to upgrade Gremlin Mark III yet, but you can see as soon as we get Alien Alois and Delirium, uh, that should be okay. So hopefully, we we can find them on the uh, globe and can scan for them soon. Definitely like to do that soon-ish. We also finally got the fusion x if uh, if you want and the fusion blades if we want so that would increase our melee damage fusion ripjack as well so a couple of really nice upgrades there i think you will find our results have exceeded expectations the defense metrics can happen. A previous uh, theory, hyperventure, uh, hyper vital module upgrade would be reduced by 50%. That's definitely not worth it. I think what we can do is we can go for that Andromedon next. As initial Having all of the um, harder and heavier uh, autopsies done. Commander, we want to set back the aliens' work on the Avatar project. Yeah, they are slowly making we progress now. We could go and possible. do the uh, facility here. Good. Dodge plus 10. And we got a scientist. Now, the next thing that we wanted to do was a promotion in six days, which Jessica Rabbit will get. She can go in with Frodo, reducing it to five days. And we would get some supplies, but we're really after the promotion mainly. Five days means the supply drop will happen beforehand, but yeah, the promotion is well worth it. That's the last kernel that we need. It seems we're getting XP a bit slower than beforehand. Oh boy. And there is yet another facility. I tell you what. We might want to go and get a facility relatively fast. I had high hopes for the 
existence under your Are you kidding me? Command. He's near immune to critical strikes now. Well, so much for flanking him, I suppose. Good. What are we going to deal with? Um, maybe collateral damage. I could uh, prevent that. Retaliation strike will not happen. Facility. Uh, we gotta slow down the facilities. That's unfortunate. Let me put in vengeance because now that we are in a situation where people can die, vengeance is actually not the worst idea. On the other hand, what we could do as well is get that extra uh, resistance contacts so that we can conquer the entire world. Eight hundred supplies. Thank you. The chosen warlock is hard at work for his masters in this area. Okay, so we got a hundred and thirty intel, right? We could buy something from the market. We still need Alois and Delirium. Avenger plotting new course. Might as well purchase some there. Because Intel is relatively easy to get. Ooh, another another kernel that we could add to our list. On the other hand, we currently really need um, those resources, so... We got a superior expanded magazine if we want to, or we're just saving the 40 intel. I like the magazine, but where would we put it? Uh, what's the plan? Where would we put it into? Well, we could hmm. we could put it into the bulb up for the vector rifle. Superior hair trigger isn't bad either. I tell you what, I think we're going to go for the Superior Expanded Magazine. It's a rare find. And the game tells me I need to do... I need to do one of uh, those facility missions. I don't want to deal with progress the entire time. So in terms of weapon upgrade, we got Advanced Expanded, expanded Magazine. Let's upgrade it to Superior Magazine. We still can require a superior scope here, and a superior autoloader wouldn't be bad either. Completely messed up to take the right weapon the last time. So yeah, we got... The superior magazine was good. The superior hair trigger wouldn't be bad for Reckoner as well. But I think the autoloader is better. There are a couple of enemies that could just um, remove our uh, remove our magazine in one go. And autoloader is the counter to that. So I think we, we will need to have autoloaders. Prime team is still doing a thing. We're not requiring them on this mission. But the B team is available. So... The next mission, guys, will be the invasion of one of the facilities. In the meantime, I think we got one core, right? So building that rage suit, thank you, is well worth it. We also got plenty of supplies. Oh, Let's see if we can upgrade something. Alois and Delarium, we need 10 each for the sniper rifle. So we could go with Fusion Axe. The Ripjacks could require an upgrade. I think Gremlin Mark III is the best that we could do here for, for now. Because it will benefit every single specialist that we do have. I'll leave the 
um, resources as is for now, or let me do the following. I don't really need that Andromedon uh, research. On the current research priority, Commander. Let's go with Plasma Lands now. I'll ensure that this new project takes highest priority, Commander. Once we have something to report, and what I'll else is available as an upgrade? Hey, yeah. We're not going to go for tier 2 if we can get tier 3 right away. But as you can see, we need more alloys and more alarium. Uh, that is unfortunate. We got still 700 left over, so maybe we can afford spending 200 here. 10% straight up um, critical hit chance for the snipers is well worth it. So might as well take that upgrade. That's a free advanced laser sight on all of them. And in terms of armory, one last thing. Oh, Frodo is still on, co on a covert ops. Got to rem remind ourselves that he will take the rage suit uh, next. So that would um, that would free up one of his items. And we got to redistribute that amongst the colonels. Jessica Rabbit Jones soon is going to be a colonel and one definitely last, uh, well, two definitely last things. Number one, infirmary. We had an, uh, if I'm not, um, if my memory serves me well, we had negative traits. Zierkim, well, we need him on the mission, so really no time for that. And training center. Jessica Jones will eventually get her upgrade. We got plenty of points. So Cougar has 20 points by himself. We're going for blast padding because we need more survivability as you have undoubtedly seen. Zero points here. I'm not currently going to spend any extra points on those guys so either they can finance uh, themselves and then it's good or bad luck lightning reflexes might be a good idea but i think run and gun is better than that that will allow us some better positioning with toxic Ooh, cereal Ooh. hmm That could, uh, that might as well be a good option. So I'm going to immediately uh, use that. Like I said, they need to finance themselves. Michael Public Bravo, untouchable after scoring a kill. Oh yeah, that's a great ability. We will need more survivability. I've already realized that we're just taking way, way too much damage. Okay, good. That's the end of this uh, episode, guys. We are about to invade a facility. I'm, I'm excited about that. We're going to get the plasma land soon, and our prime team hopefully, hopefully uh, soon gets fully upgraded, uh, with uh, Jessica Jones getting the colonel rank. And the la I think the last one is still our spark. Primo's here, 25 um, missions, 110 kills, but still not the highest rank. So we got to get that one going. Other than that, it brings us to the end of today's episode. Leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next run. Bye bye.